Okay, so here we have um, this uh, aluminum pendulum thing that's suspended by a string in there. Let's see, it looks straight down in there. Okay, I guess you can't see the, through the bottom very much. I have an aluminum mesh Faraday cage all the way around this thing. And I have my high voltage generator. And I'm seeing deflections and and huh looks like for some reason we're getting major deflections in there it seems to be following the electrostatic field Even though I have it in a shielded Faraday cage. How about that? Huh. Seems like it's more strongly attracted to the positive than the negative but still it should be completely shielded shouldn't it shouldn't that be shielded Oh, very strange. Okay. Anyway, definitely is aluminum. Should be a good conductor. Should be shielding the electrostatic field. I don't know why it's not. Okay. Seems very strange. Okay, I was just going to make some comments on this guy here, this uh, torsion field thing. So, um, it's kind of thick glass. One theory that I have, I know Townsend Brown is working on electrogravity, and that um, maybe uh, the electric field is uh, creating a capacitive effect between the inner Faraday cage, which is inside of here, and uh, the outer one, and producing a stress field in the in the uh, in the glass out here. And that stress field is um, creating an artificial electrogravity field, which is uh, penetrating the uh, Faraday cage and causing the spinner to to rotate. It's one theory that I have. It's very strange because Maxwell's equations. Uh, predict that the field should be completely shielded. Electric fields should be completely shielded on the inside. And of course there, there is no magnetic fields because these are electrostatic fields. So anyway, I'll, I'll keep on looking into this effect. Uh, it seems very interesting. And uh, of course the end, end, uh, ideal product is to be able to build a uh, spaceship using uh, artificial gravitational fields. So anyway, Keep on looking into this, and this is uh, Dr. Jaynes, and thanks for watching.